and we are live again and uh, I'm gonna do some uh, website one geocoding for a while not too long uh, but yes uh, hopefully Brian will join me uh, let's see here let's go to screen share and to my yes so what I am struggling with right now is the fact that uh, what I've done is I created um, I have everything passing to the point where I should see Sweden I thought I had this geocoder IP lookup to use test and test is using a default stub uh, that's what I think and uh, we're using this one. Yes, that's the response. Hey, Thomas. How's it going there? Okay, let me walk you through this. Sure. Uh, in, the, in the you know I created uh, in the uh, helpers RB file I created this method stop geocode. Uh huh. Um, so I. Reconfigure the IP lookup to use test instead, and test is set to as a default stub, and this is the stub I'm using. Okay. Uh, that was in the documentation. Yeah. A yeah, similar so. thing, but it was with lookup. But I'm I'm using IP lookup for this one, you know, because that's okay. what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, then back in the user steps on that, yeah, you're given the following step: users exist. So I call this method first. Uh -huh. Then I do the table, and then I have a just a method to see things, you know, to display things in puts, and that's a right. simple, you know, all users, you know, and I iterate through the users and just display the, you know, I was playing around to do geocode there because it's not coded, you know, I, I can't get the geocode to do to, you know, uh, uh -huh. to 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 be executed, so I'm just going through email, last sign in IP. And then just checking if the longitude and, and country is empty or not, you know. Yeah. Uh, on the output, and it is empty. That's is the, the thing. So if I run this test now, having user profile, the output I'm getting is, uh, da, 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 da. and I think I mean I think this method, the geocoding is working in real life. It's just not working mm -hmm. in the, in the test. In the test, I all I I tried it in the. You know, uh, I tried it through the Rails console, and it was working. Yeah. So okay. you see, it, it stops here, and you know, I should see, you know, I should see Sweden. It it doesn't see that. So uh -huh. you know, when I go through those users, there are only two users. So I can see the the email. I can see the the IP, but that's because it's in the hash. You know, it's it's here, right? Yeah. Uh, so and if I add, you know, if I add Sweden here, you know, then then I'm okay. The test will pass for me. You understand? Right. Yeah. But that's not uh, the the point of this test. Well, uh, perhaps perhaps here on the on the behavior, it it doesn't really matter. But we we should do something like this in in our spec, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm actually considering just giving up on on the, uh, you know, on the cubes. Mm. Perhaps they don't hit the database in the in the in the way we need, uh, or uh, they don't hit the, the the user model or something, because it it does not do what it, what I wanted to do. Even if yeah. I in the helper method here, all users. If I go user geocode, that should execute that, right? Yeah. And it doesn't. It doesn't. Hmm. I see. I guess. Yeah, it maybe it is better just to avoid this cucumber hmm. because well, I don't know. I guess it's skipping those geocoding. Hmm. And uh, how can I how can I see if this is actually uh, what should I how I should I, if I want to see for instance. That country here, country name is Sweden. I should go uh, all this or default stub or how can I call this? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you have to copy that whole. Oh well. Uh, well, it's setting default stuff. I don't know where to find this stuff. Mm hmm. Hmm. Configure test. Uh, can you? I don't know. Search for IP lookup in GeoCoder. Uh. Is it geocoder dot test? No, we don't do anything. Configure the maximum. I don't know. This look up here gets me to geocoder prime Yahoo test. Does that help me? Free GIP. Oh, I'm in the wrong branch. I was thinking whether we should, you know, require something in the in the. Perhaps we should, we need to require in the. Cucumber and file, you know. Uh huh. But it is uh, look at base. You see this? Perhaps we need to Ooh, results. Okay, VGP. Thinking if I go to helper snow the end file here, and if I add this require this field, uh, but I don't know. I don't know what that's why that should. I don't understand why Cucumber isn't calling the methods or executing the the this, the the methods the geocode method. Yeah, that's weird. Is it because it's the test? No, can't be. No. Uh, I mean, before before I stopped it out as a test. I mean, I didn't I didn't achieve much. It's perhaps a little cleaner code, but I I didn't achieve much by by creating an, another a separate method of stubbing stubbing it out this way, and that's why I'm 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 I don't. The thing is that we do have, uh, you know what? What if I what if I enable NetConnect for a while just to see uh -huh. if it can hit the the you know, uh, the, the the service itself. Yeah. So I can comment this out, but I need to say uh, disable netconnect equals false, right? Is that? Uh -huh. Something like that. Is this right? You think? Mm. Let's see. I don't know. We can search for it. Here we go. Allow net connect. Could that be it? Yeah. Mm. Let's see here. Yes, honey. With what? Mm. 
I just need to fix this, honey. I'll be with you soon. I don't know. 10 minutes, 15, 2 hours. I don't know. I'm kidding, honey, all right? Take it easy, baby. So, yeah, well, I'm going to disable that. I'm not going to use this. So I'm going to stop. See if we can... Uh, uh, easy point story. This should take me 15 minutes, you know, and I've been at it for two hours now, or and three. Then you cannot promise me that you're done on 10. Look, 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 Brian. I will almost called you honey. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to oh say honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Anyway, uh, uh, well, when we enabled, uh, when we enabled the the uh, web. Uh, mm. Yeah, but but I can do. You know what I can do? I can do like this, just to, just to, you know, leave this behind me. Uh, I can disable it here in the environmental, the end file, but I can actually allow it here on this step definition, right? Uh huh. Yes. And that pretty much solves my problem for now. True. Okay. And you can disable it after the test. I mean after that step. Yeah. Just to be sure. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's I guess that the... that fixes the problem. Mm hmm Copy and user blah blah blah. So we don't need this. Oh gosh. Yes. Oh. Now my wife sat my son on top of my head <laughs> because she feels that I don't know what she feels. She feels that's a proper thing to do. Uh, Jessica, that actually hurts, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and also, he smells funny. <laughs> you sure he didn't do anything while he's on your head? Yeah. Well, no, I, no, it's it's just my hair gel. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Where well, So definitely, yeah. Have a have a. Yeah, well, it actually, well, it works now. Okay. So, yeah. Which are running all the specs. Yeah. Uh, and we haven't written any view specs yet. So. Oh, I'm, oh, well, I guess Cucumber, sorry. Yeah. Okay. That was what I meant. Yeah, I can run them it's, it's just to see they are not fucked up in any way. Yeah. But listen, so basically what we have now, we have that an uh, attribute saved for for every user, right? In, in because we added that to yes, to the uh, to the database. So this means yeah. that I, I can easily use this on the uh, Index page for all users as well, right? Yep. That's good. That's definitely possible. Because I, I'm, I'm actually more, more interested in, in, in that than. Uh, I don't think okay. all fields will pass because I have uh, something on the user. All right. I need, I need to let's see the user list. Here we are. I think I created, yeah, last sign in, blah, blah. So the following users exist, yeah. So, and this will fail because I don't have anything on that view. So if I go to index, user show up, I have this play name, and then I go P, and then I go uh, user country country 
we, if user country present, right? Yeah. There you go. And that should actually, if I hit this, let's see here, user list feature. So this one should actually pass for me now. I click our members, I should be on the our members page, and I should see Sweden at least. Yeah, because these two. But he can complain that he sees Sweden twice, right? Uh, I think no. no, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, not for see. just checking. I think when you want to click a button, Sweden, then it'll mm. complain. Okay. But this is not a good test. But it's the first, you know, yeah, step in testing. Okay. Okay. Good. So, yeah. Well, okay. That's that. But I mean, there must be a way to stop this out because. Yeah. I mean, this is ridiculous. Actually, to hit to hit the. Uh, yeah. And I, I'm not even yeah. I'm not even sure that uh, Travis will allow that. We can we can check that. Right. I, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Could you just push your latest code up? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have a look. Yeah, I would like to get this uh, get this done ASAP so we can have a look. And also, do you have any uh, suggestions of what we could do while this cucumber is running? I was just thinking about could we do something to the index page of of uh, of users and make it kind of look better. For now, we're not, you know, we're just saying yeah. all members and then we're not even sorting them, which is something we need to fix. Uh, but mm. I, th I think that there's, you know, we have like 40, 40 people soon or 35 people. Uh -huh. And so I, I'm thinking about displaying, you know, the, their country here. And, and when we are, you know, when we, when we are done with the self you know, skills tagging. You know, you 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 tag your skills. I was thinking about displaying them in uh -huh. with with uh, in Bootstrap. There's this class of of pills. Okay. Small, yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking about that. That'll be cool. What else can we do here? Not much, right? No, not much. I mean, it it is the index page. Mm. You shouldn't put too much on it. Mm. I could potentially, you know, perhaps I could, I could, I could do some sorting, some dynamic, dynamic sorting, with with some jQuery that you know you can click on like, you know, uh, the Western Hemisphere or Asia or Europe, you know, uh, okay. and, and we could see people from those countries only or from yeah. from those uh, parts of the world. Uh, That'll be quite cool. I can work on something like that. Once we have all the other stuff done, I think we could we could implement stuff like this. Cool. Yeah, sounds great. Uh, actually, since we're here, I might as well show you the. Uh, I call it articles now. Oh, what do I have? Good. It's good. It's uh, it's it's better than it's better than guides, and it's better than getting started. Because getting started makes it too narrow, you know. It's like only the beginning kind of thing. Well, yeah. Out, yeah. Uh, well, I still have that getting started page. I, I guess, we should replace it. Okay, from here I have or no styling have on it. Yeah. Let's see what you got. There. So we have articles, and then I have it um, so that I can filter by tags. So I use the the access taggable gem and uh -huh. add tags like different topics, Ruby, Rails, or hey, whatnot. Good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So I guess the only thing left is styling. Oh, and I have syntax highlighting on. So oh. that, that that took a Ooh. while. Oh, oh, Yeah. It's all done in Markdown though. 
but I think everyone should be fine with that. How do you how how do you can you show me when you edit it? Uh the the markdown or Yeah. I okay, I use the red carpet gem. Uh, okay. Articles controller. Uh no not controller. Helper. Yeah. So I use the red carpet gem. Mm -hmm. And you have to create this like rendering engine. Uh -huh. Then you can set all the options like uh footnotes, subscripts. This allows for block code uh mm -hmm. Blocks of code, auto linking. These are standard GitHub mark markup style. But then there is this a uh, gem called Code Ray, which mm -hmm. can do the syntax highlighting. So I just uh, I copied this off uh, a blog post, I think, mm -hmm. and then just um, initialize this like rendering engine with uh, using the gem so that it'll do the the, the coloring. And all the and put all the options in, mm -hmm. and then yeah, then all I have to do is when you whenever I want to render the markdown, just call engine dot render mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the the markdown text. Wow, and Wonderful. Raw, of course. Wonderful. Yeah, cool. So, we need to get this up. Oh, also ASAP actually. Yeah. So, so well, so there's a so there's a there's an index page and there's a there's an edit page. I think it has everything. It just Lacking the styling and lacking text tests, so I want to hopefully set up a pairing to get this done. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, I think there's a weird issue. Okay, I have I downloaded this plugin to do some autocomplete on the uh, the tag, so you can do like mm -hmm. JavaScript. But I'm not sure why it's a bit offset. I wonder if it's something to do with because I know on Bootstrap page it seems to work perfectly fine. I don't know if we have custom uh styling that's causing this offset that's weird yeah so i uh, we can have a look at this too but you might, this this is this must be some 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 yeah uh, yeah cuz i yeah it's it's uh, out of alignment a little bit but how where did you get the code from to the to the form did you copy uh, some, from some place within the website one or no i just used the standard like tags Mm. Uh, form control, all that. Form yeah, standard, standard. Bootstrap. Yeah, standard Bootstrap stuff here. Class. Uh, yeah, form control. I didn't do anything special to it. Mm -hmm. Form group, form control, control label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is it. Yeah. Well, we can have a look. We, we, well, this is. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah. We need to play around with it, probably. probably. Uh, hmm. Or we can uh, modify the, the CSS for those pills or whatever. Because I would like to display... Yeah, this is also the way I would like to display them, the, 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 the tags on the... If you know what if what if you inspect the, that that tag right now, like you know, if you right click and do HTML inspect on it. The code inspect on it. You hear me, Brian? Brian. Brian. Okay, Brian's gone. Brian's gone. Well, anyway, uh, I don't know if you hear me, Brian, or not. But okay, well perhaps you will come back. Um, I'm gonna go get status. And I go get. Not get it to work in puke until I allowed web mock 
to do net calls or queues are passing for now. Git push origin kill. Uh, hey, sorry about that. I disconnected. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. Well, anyways, we can we can uh, we can have a, a look at this together. It, it yeah. looks wonderful, and I think it's a, it's a very interesting feature that will add a lot of value to our site. So, Absolutely. Yeah. I was wondering. I don't know at what point we were cut off, but I was just mentioning. Uh, do you think we can put something around here, like uh, for the footer of the article? Maybe like a short bio of the author, or something like that. Or I would do that in the ne in next iteration, actually. You know. Next iteration. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's because yes. th th that's yet another thing that needs to be covered by tests. So I would I would uh -huh. I would like you know go for this, and absolutely it's a great idea you know to to pull out mm -hmm. some info from from the from the you know, but let's 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 implement the bio first you know. Yeah. And then okay. we can we can add this to it. It's a great idea, but but let's let's keep it simple for, for now. I mean, this is right. not simple whatsoever, but still, you you know what I mean. You know, it's uh, yeah. Uh, you have to uh, now the, the 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 header is clickable, or do you want you're gonna add a read more button or something, a link? Uh, the header is clickable. Okay, all right. Yes, uh, there's I guess the styling. I like I haven't worked on the styling yet. So no. Okay. Cool. Doesn't look doesn't look like a link. Cool. Yeah. Hopefully you can uh can set up a pairing on that. Mm. Once I'm done with all the jQuery stuff. Wait wait a second, Jessica. Okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, it seems that family is calling. I pushed up the latest code to. to oh, okay. Yeah. So if you want to have a quick look on this. Sure. What and else my, do you? And my code's on uh, article branch. If you want to have a look at that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can. Yeah, I can. I can pull that down as well. Give it, uh, that's cool. So articles, I know that uh, Marcelo's working on that hire me button. Uh huh. Uh, I need somebody to take care of this mailer. I I wish I wish Yara were back. I would. I, I never thought I'd say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder what's taking him so long. I want to get started on YouTube. Oh, I I think I should get rid of all the other stuff that's in the way first. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think of getting. Piling on too much on my plate right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's. Yeah, I I feel <laughs> feel that too. You know, I just I just finished a paper yesterday uh -huh. uh, from my school and I, oh. I sent it off and uh, I got the grade back. It's it's approved, but it's not. You know, it's not the highest grade. You know, and I'm I, I'm, <laughs> I'm blaming myself for it. Yeah, so I, I had to. I, I I stressed through it. You know, so. Hmm. Uh, yeah, don't worry. You just have to, you know, it just has to pass. You don't yeah, have to know, be the greatest. I, I know, I know. Hey, do you know C or Java or something? Uh, yeah, actually I do. That's my first language. Oh, Java. okay. Then you can teach me some Java. I need to write a simple uh, code snippet that uh, converts shilowatts to horsepowers, or vice versa. I have the I have the Shilo... form, form I have the formula okay. for that. that uh, Oh, it's like a little math thing, huh? Oh, mm. That's it's, fun. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's there's. I'm doing a fetch from you, and it takes forever. I don't know, understand. I use if that's, that's weird. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, let's let's let, let him work. Uh, who's gonna? I wonder. Yeah. I have this. I, uh, I have this. Uh, uh, this formula that equals zero point seven seven three five kilowatts. Yeah, this is ex yeah. Ah, oh, okay. So I have to I have to transform one horsepower 
to the Shilovat, you know, and I can I, uh, I'm allowed to do it in C, C, C++, C Sharp, Java, or Visual Basic for some fucking reason. <laughs> Visual Basic, huh? Yeah. I never used that before. No. I thought that was a very old language. Yeah. Yeah. C plus. Okay, so but it's just yeah. Uh, this is. I mean, just ask for a while. I use it for the user input. How many horsepowers? Oh. They, yeah. Right. And then calculate and give an output in in Shilavat. This is the simplest thing. I mean, okay. And I never used yeah. uh, Java, so you know. Right. So which one are you planning to pick, C or Java? Uh, uh, Java. I'm thinking about Java. Well, actually, it would be easier okay. for me to do it in C because I I've done some C at least before a long time ago. Uh -huh. But I I know that we're gonna do a lot of and that that teacher that professor likes Java, so it's okay. So if you're gonna do a lot of Java, because well, for a simple program like this, it might be easier with C because there's a lot of boilerplate for Java for a simple program like this. Uh, okay. Uh, sure, I can. Oh, we we can we can do it uh, the next time yeah. we we'll pair up because Jessica's sure. calling me anyway. Sure, so, sure. Um, All right. And the code the code is up, and you know, if, if perhaps later tonight I'm I'm around, uh, I I can we can hook up again. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Or, or I see you later tomorrow. All right, brother. Okay, cool. Talk to you. No All right. All right. See ya. Bye.